Okay, so this is a tutorial how to install Windows NT5, the earlier build, not beta 2, but the earlier build. So first, what you want to do is get a MS-DOS boot CD, not the flop because we need a boot CD. So just locate your MS-DOS boot disk and boot into it. Now, since we don't have MS-DOS installed, we can, M we can install MS-DOS off the boot disk. This is a little trick that we have to do here. So we boot it to MS-DOS, we go to drive R and say from F desk. Oops. And we can create our partition. Yes, and it's gonna create a partition and we restart our computer. Okay, it restarts into MS DOS again. Okay, now we're going to install MS DOS now. So what we're gonna do is have to format the drive now. Format C slash S and we press Y and then it formats the hard drive, the virtual hard disk, I should say. Okay. It's finished, so we press enter and now we're going to copy space go star you press shift star dot star to C just go to C and write and type Y Okay, so now we have it installed. Okay, so what you want to do is go to your um, your Windows NT 5.0 CROM right now. Wait, navigate to it. Okay, now what you want to do is go into DIR and type in CDI386, press enter, and then type in Win NT slash B and you can get this blue screen and it says and it says set up a new server or empty files or located enter the path and we press enter and now it's copying the files to hard disk I'm gonna pause the video right now just to let you know if it says if it's unable to copy the banana.ani file, just skip it because that is what the CD drive, the CD-ROM driver's signature is, and you don't need it for the installation. So just press escape to skip the file and hit X because it's not really important. And yeah, and don't worry, it's gonna work. I'm gonna pause the video until this is finished. Okay, after your setup is complete, you would want to leave the ACPI power management on or else the setup will not work. Now, you can take out any floppies or CDs. In this case, we're going to take out the ISO and hit enter. And then it restarts our computer. Now you're going to get the boot menu and now you want to select Windows NT installation and hit enter. Now it's going to inspect your computer's hardware configuration and it will just go to the normal setup like you've seen before. And for Astro CD, put it in when it's needed. I'm gonna pause the video. Okay, so recap, I just had to disable the ACPI power management because it will cause the video driver to crash and the setup will not continue. So in the BIOS, you want to disable that. So you can continue setup, press enter, like your normal enter setup, enter, you accept the license agreement. You want to accept the license agreement. Hold on a second. Okay, you press enter and then you go to here, the free space, and convert your partition to NTFS if you want. Press enter and your normal anti setup should begin right now. Okay, so right now it's going to copy all the files to your hard drive once again. It's going to do this very quickly and it's not going to take as much time as the one during the MS DOS installation. 
so we're just gonna, I'm gonna pause. Okay, so now it's done, and we're going to restart the computer, hit enter, and it will boost the virtual machine. Don't touch anything, just let it load. I'm going to pause the video. Okay, so it's just loading now. And you should be able to follow the setup prompts. Thanks for watching.